24 hours till opening night. No professional actors, just homegrown talent from Tahuna, Queenstown. Had Parata is the writer and director. It's his first ever play, named Tor, representing all people who've lost their lives to suicide. Cut. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy, mate. You know, what we've got to understand here too, guys, is that this is the first time we've had a dress rehearsal with lights and with sound, OK? The story is true to life. Hud lived it firsthand. A friend of mine passed away by suicide 30 years ago. It was an opportunity for me to deal with my trauma and the loss, so I wrote about it. Definitely didn't know that it was going to be a, a stage play. Can you tell me about the friend you lost? His name is Tere Moana Atariki. He was a big man, a humble man, a loving, caring man. He was only 21 years old, Rarotongan descent. The only thing we really had in common was the gym. And also we played league together. I played it for a different team, of course. But I must say, that whole family that I wrote about 30 years ago, they're actually coming tonight, including the daughter who was two years old when he passed and the mother, his mum, and also his sister. Can you tell me why did you decide to write Tor? The whole point here is that the victim is gone. But what about the bereaved whanau? What about the whanau aroha that have left to actually pick up the pieces and deal with it in real life in terms of the trauma, pain, and everything associated to it? So what we objectively want to do is create a platform where Fano Aroha can speak openly and honestly without the shame and the blame and the guilt of the taboo that surrounds them. It's all seen through a Māori lens. The cast is Māori and every one of them has been exposed to the grief of suicide. I lost my best friend when I was 15 uh, to suicide. We weren't able to talk about that um, and as kids I think it affected lots of us in different ways. And for me, I closed down and went off the rails. Dion Freeman is a hono hono practitioner, a Māori healer. For him, acting is way outside his comfort zone, but he's doing it for the kaupapa. I play uh, Tor's best friend, George. I'm basically playing HUD. This is done as kind of a labour of love from all of us. There wasn't funding gifted for this production. I think that's the most beautiful thing is heart-based people have shown up to bring that. Miss Di Tehuna plays Tor's mum. For her, it's deeply personal. She's known the intergenerational trauma of losing two grandparents to suicide. Tor has helped with the healing. Throughout my healing journey, there's been lots of times where I've tried to find the space that sits so deep within me of grief and anger and sadness that I've never been able to really release. So the more I've been um, rehearsing, I just feel so much lighter. Like I, I can literally feel my body getting lighter, I've got more clarity around my mind, I have more understanding, like more understanding around the subject. I have a deeper understanding for my whānau and a lot of forgiveness came with it through this play because I was stuck where I was angry and hurt at my grandfather for doing the things he had done and how that affected his children and their children, my cousins. Did you want to come to church with me today? Wait, weren't you meant to be getting baptised today at your church? No. With the play moving forward, it's given me a lot more confidence and actually being able to talk about the subject without being real hush hush and quiet about it because people don't talk about it because we don't talk about it. It's that simple. How do you hope that Māori feel when they're watching this? It's needed, especially in this town. Um, we, as Māori, it's been a really tough gig coming into this place. I remember when I was at high school here, I was one of a handful of Māori, and I always felt really disconnected um, because I 
don't come from here and I've got no whānau here, you know, I had no whānau and there are actually a lot of Māori that are based here in Queenstown and I hope this is an opportunity for them to come together um, and to help Afi and support each other. For so many Māori, Tahuna Queenstown is beyond reach. The rents are sky high, the wages can't keep up and there's a real sense of cultural disconnection. For those who do call Tahuna home, there's a different motivation for being here. Our people, Tangata Māori, aren't here for the glitz and glamour. They're working behind the scenes to create that, and it can be a tough gig. It's very difficult. Having no marae here is very difficult because that's our tūrongo waiwai, right? That's our standing place. And we struggle with it. We need somewhere to have our tangihana. We need somewhere to have our wānanga. We need somewhere to have our whakawhanangutang. September last year, my lease on my house ran out. There are people living in cars, people are um, losing their homes. I've even got my best friends leaving town and they've got businesses and it's been really, really challenging. A lot of places that were rentals before are now Air Airbnbs. And then you've got a lot of locals that are just really trying to make ends meet and that's kind of a big trigger for suicide that has happened down here. At last, opening night. I'm here at the invitation of uh, Had Rapata and his whānau, the kaituhi, the creator of this wonderful kaupapa, uh, Toa. It's time to talk. It's time to call it all about mental health and suicide, and I'm just been delighted to be able to hear the totoko his whānau, and likewise all the whānau here in Tahuna. There's been strong community support. It's a full house. The production is broken into five scenes depicting real life events. Oh now, look at the cooks. You're wasting them, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. In the days leading up to Tor taking his own life, we get some understanding of why. A relationship breakup, an identity crisis. Never did fit in. Too black and too dumb. It's over. I've had enough. The pain, the loss, I'm out. A panel discussion followed. Bereaved Fano shared their stories of grief, but also what helped them through. First of all, after Chelsea, Chelsea passed away, I felt very numb for a long time, probably at least the first year. It helped me to have my partner, Dave, friends, family, and even my community. So I understand now how important that is to reach out to others. For Hud, the most special part was having the whānau of Tere Moana there. The whānau are overwhelmed emotionally, Physically, however, I can see the elation on their face that 32 years later, somebody still cared enough to talk about their brother. How did you find it tonight? Emotional, very emotional, but um, really good because it's spreading awareness. I found it very raw, even though 30 Two years later, 31 years later, it still touches the heart after all those years. I think it's great that they're doing plays like this and showing situations where it is actual portraying what happens in family lives. The thing is, is to be able to come up with solutions for people. Because at the moment, the system does not seem to be working. I just hope that they can get help, that there is a way out no matter how dark it gets. It's hard. I've grown up without a parent, it's bloody hard. 
tour ran for just two nights in Tahuna, Queenstown, the response was all positive and had hoped to tour it across the Mutu. It's absolutely wonderful, mind-blowing, all those things. Out there, if you can hear the chatter and the laughing and just coming from a tragedy place such as suicide, it's certainly remarkable. I'm very proud, very, very proud of everybody. I wrote it, but without anybody else, it would never ever come to life. So I'm very proud.